next Doctor Who. Every time I see you, it's like you're... What? In a rush, in a state. How was you? Sorry I'm late. Who are you having dinner with? I can't keep doing this. The next few days are all about you. I'm the new caretaker, John Smith. Welcome to call him, Mr. Smith. Thanks. Problem. <laughs> Solution. Destroy. An all-new episode of Doctor Who, Saturday at 9, only on BBC America. Hey, guys, uh, we're back. Hello. Hey, and this is another week of another Doctor Who episode. This one called The Caretaker. So, mm. it was a pretty cool episode. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about it. Again, spoilers, if you haven't seen it, don't watch the video. Uh, but uh, if you have seen it and you want to talk about it, hey, this is the video for you. So, um, let's talk a little bit about it. Uh, basically, the, the whole episode is, again, the Doctor's getting into a lot of trouble. He decides that he wants to uh, capture this alien machine that's killing people. Uh, and, of course, the best way he thinks of how to do, how to do this is to lure it to a school full of children, of course. <laughs> so, uh, and, of course, the chaos ensues in this, in this situation. And so. hijinks. And hijinks. Um, so, uh, what did you give the episode? I liked it. I mm -hmm. liked it. I thought it was funny. It was good. Um... I would. I don't know what I would rate it though. I think maybe like a seven or an eight, maybe an eight. Really? I give it a six. Yeah, maybe yeah. seven. But seven point five. Can I do that? Can I do something? You can put seven point five. Yeah, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna give this just a straight up six. Okay. Um, I was not a big fan of this episode as much as you were. Because. Um, I just don't think this Doctor works as being goofy. I mean, I like him when he's serious, you know? That, that's why I like when this Doctor's sure, serious. Sure, he doesn't really, he doesn't pass off as goofy as Matt Smith did. Exactly. But he has his own sort of, like, weird, quirky flair. Yeah, yeah. Goofy, not so much, but, like, a little bit crazy kind of works out. So he comes up yeah. as a crazy caretaker. Um, so, the care so he basically goes undercover in the school... To be the the school's caretaker, basically janitor. Where Clara is working, of course, and she, that's her job. Her legitimate yeah. job is to work at the school. So it's her school, and in the meantime, it's trying to balance life between work, being with the doctor and being with Mister Pink. Mm -hmm. That's why you gave it a six, because you're not a big fan of Pink. I'm not a big fan of Pink. And, and this is a very pinkish episode. This is a very pinkish episode because uh, the doctor finally realizes as she's dating a soldier. Uh, there's a very funny moment though before that where she thinks he's dating a guy who looks like just like Matt Smith. Well, and... he he sort of sees her with this guy that has like the Matt Smith hair and a bow tie, and he's like, "Oh, Clara, go ahead, yeah, date him. It's fine. Like, like, oh, I of know you're a crush the handsome me. devil, you know." So but yeah, then he finds out that it's pink, and it's not. And, she, and he keeps calling it pink a PE teacher. When he's really a math teacher. Which right, is really... which is kind of weird and yeah. funny. Basically, his yeah. His thought is that soldiers can't be math teachers. They can't, can't be math be teachers, PE they have to be teachers. PE teachers, basically. Uh, so, there's a lot of big... Uh, there's a lot of, uh, how can I say it, um, prejudice, prejudice against the soldiers in this episode by the doctor. Yeah. So, this is kind of new. Uh, well, we've been, he's been saying it before, but it hasn't been so much where it's affected him mm -hmm. handling things, you know? Yeah. Like, he said that he doesn't like soldiers, but it hasn't necessarily been to the point where he's giving everybody a hard time. Yeah. The way he is in this yeah. episode. And he is. He gives, he gives them both a hard time. Yeah. But it's fun. It's a fun episode. And, it, and again, the best thing about these episodes is watching Clara battle him and sort of just, like, mm -hmm. shut him up. Or yeah. try to, anyway. Like, he does something and she, like, sort of, like, calls his bluff. And calls him on his, on his stuff. Exactly. And she's, like, always going, like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you here? You know, like, just, like, just tell me what's going on. And he doesn't want to tell her what's going on. Because he's, he's a doctor. He likes to keep it secret and stuff. And uh... Kind of, it, their relationship, in a, in a way, reminds me of uh, David Tennant and um, the Tenth Doctor and... Uh, Donna, a really? little bit, a little bit, not as much, mm -hmm. but that where it's kind of like an almost like brotherly sisterly. I see it's more like a babysitter. She's like his babysitter. She's like always trying to wrangle him in, you know, and and he's like always acting out. That's what the way I he see is. it, you know. Um, but uh, that's so, so far. I mean, I, I guess I suppose a six was because it was pink, 
Uh, there's a big relation of like how she goes and Clarissa says, I love him. And I'm going like, really? He loves, you know, and I'm like a doctor. The doctor's like, really? And I'm like, I'm, I'm watching the episode going like, really? Seriously? You, you love this guy already? I mean, I don't see it. I just don't see it at all, you know. They, they, it's that type of thing where, they, where they're like, well, obviously this is going to be the guy, so get used to it. So there's no, there's no wiggle room out of here, so of course she's going to fall in love with him. Yeah. They already just, told us in the was it episode before the episode before that two episodes ago. I just ago? don't see the chemistry, dude. I just don't see. The it, it's 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 there. They flirt. It, it's a flirty thing. It's not necessarily a Amy and Rory thing. I know that's where your heart is, but just to like to quote my British my, my British peeps out there, you know their relationship is rubbish. So <laughs> that's 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 one that's rubbish. You know. Uh, but, uh... Hello, British people. Hello, British people. So, yeah, so... Huh, good episode. Uh, the Monsters episode is, uh... Kind of original looking, you know? Like a little spider-like, kind of like monster robot. You Reminded know? me of something. Uh, it could have been swapped out for a Cyberman, I'm just saying. But, whatever. No. You know? No. This one was fine. It was, it was good. Um, it was a good, uh, bad guy for now. Which is something that's been lacking in the last couple of episodes. Mm-hmm. Um... And again, we see uh, Missy again at the end of the episode. I'm Supposedly, not really sure. she's implied that she's God. Apparently, she's in, it's implied. I, I don't know. Or she's in the afterlife. Is basically she's like, like a big because box they're talking the to a dead person. So basically, there's some sort of afterlife corporate headquarters. Yeah. Where she's sort of there, and if I don't know if she's God, but she definitely is involved in that kind of thing. She's a head up of the. You know, she's in ranking. I guess she's a boss because the guy he's like being interviewed. He's interviewing this cop who got killed, and uh, the uh, the the guy says says like you know he like he says oh my god you know and the guy's like yeah well she's busy right now and you see Missy walking walking by and stuff so yeah I don't know I don't think she's got she's definitely evil Some, something's evil about really her. you think she's she evil? F she feels evil mm. so it's also that voice it's that evil evil voice. I don't know, this season's not really paying out for me the way I like it to pay out. Yeah. No. I think it's got potential. Eh, I don't know. I think they're kind of wandering around, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's see, maybe, you know, who knows, who knows maybe, maybe the next episode might, might uh, turn it around for me, who knows. Uh, next episode is uh, a lot like the Waters from Mars episode, where they're in, in space, they're in like, uh, I think, I don't know if they're on Mars or if they're just on the moon, but they're somewhere in space. Yeah, I'm and not sure. uh, you know, there's a lot of like them walking around in space suits and like leaping and gravity and stuff like that, and you know, it seems okay. I don't know. I'm like really, I'm not really looking forward to it to be honest with you. I'm just like kind of like meh about it. I'm still, I still love Doctor Who. I don't care. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still into it. Okay, so, um, we're gonna be doing another episode soon, right? Like something else. Well, yeah, we're gonna be doing. Uh, well, now that Gotham has premiered. Uh, Yay! and, uh, and Intruders premiered as well. Yay! And, uh, we're waiting for Selfie to premiere, and then once your Selfie premieres, at that point we'll do a video about what, now, our predictions, and now our results of the predictions. And what we like, and what we don't like. Exactly. So we'll be doing a video about that in the future. But, uh, I guess that's about it, really. I mean, we mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of covered everything here. Um, special not, not a lot to say. Not a lot to say about this episode. Um, fun, I guess. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I give it six. But uh, anyway, yeah. But I'll, I'll we're gonna leave you here and uh, have a good one, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.